Welcome back to the Eastern Eye here on IFR TV. It's a program that X rays the political, social, and economic developments around us. My name is Alex Obodo. Still have joining me graciously from, from Lagos, Nigeria, <coughs> this evening. Uh, Tony Nadi Esquire, is of course, um, represents uh, Ninas and um, the other groups that are making the case for the indigenous nationals in Nigeria to state their claim and uh, own what is theirs. So, uh, Mr. Tony Nadi, what is the way forward? There has to be a way to engage, to bring whatever it is you are talking about into reality. Or are you not supposed to engage your group, Nina's, uh, the other one, LNC? No, I, I don't know. Is that not supposed to be some kind of dialogue with anyone? We, we, have, been, uh, we have been in the vanguard of the dialogue that uh, needed to be had all the while. From after, from after the Aburi Sovereign Conference, this initiative that have become Ninas now became the first, the only other time that uh, a sovereign meeting, meeting of those you call Nigerians. And let's get it clear, there are three audiences that I'm addressing right now on behalf of Ninas. The first is Nigeria itself. That is the Nigerian state as represented by the government of Nigeria. And all of those who gather to, you know, uh, try to govern Nigeria with this current constitution. That is one constituency. The second audience is the one you call Nigerians. That is the people of Nigeria. Just let leave it at that, Nigerians. Mm. Then the third, but the most important, are the peoples of Nigeria. There's a difference between the people of Nigeria. That is the settled Nigeria. All of us from every part, waving at one flag and singing one national anthem, bound by the geography of uh, Sokoto to Meduguri to Potakot, back to Lagos in terms of map. But Awolo was says is a geographical expression. The peoples of Nigeria are the ones who could have been countries of their own or in other arrangements if Nigeria wasn't occupying their space today. Europe will be a country of 60 million people. The eastern half of southern Nigeria that we call the lower Niger will be a country of well over 70 million people because we are now going from the door to Delta through all of Ebola, the Doland, all the way to Ogoyo, the eastern half of southern Nigeria. Now, why are we saying we need to discuss? Because some people don't understand, you know, even the basics, even the ones with PhD. You saw this Abakoba the other day uh, telling Akbabio in the presence of Tinobu uh, how they could go and write a constitution, as if constitution is just uh, what anybody can do. The National Assembly, the National Assembly was elected to make laws according to constitution that are, according to constitution. The contention of the owners of Nigeria is that they have not made any constitution. And that is self-evident. That is no longer in dispute. That's why the government is looking for how to uh, go and write another constitution and throw at us. Whereas constitution is supposed to be like a memo and article in which we are the shareholders, we are the, we are the subscribers and shareholders and promoters of the enterprise Nigeria. It's the Yoruba that will have to sit down with the Joan Loboni and Tib and Beryl to work out their memo and articles. That is uh, the constitution by which they will federate. And in going to work it out, they already will have their own constitutions, uh, like uh, every other federation, if we are to federate. And the discussion that should be going on, uh, if you talk in terms of uh, who should we be, because people sit in Abuja now, uh, hanging onto that constitution that is a forgery, and pretending now that they are the owners of our sovereignty to write constitution for us. That's where many people begin to imagine that it is the National Assembly's business to write constitution. Lawmaking is totally different from constitution making. Constitution making 
is a higher transaction than lawmaking. The members of the National Assembly, the legislative mandate of the National Assembly does not extend to constitution making. Every time the members of the National Assembly sit in Abuja to talk about making or amending constitution for us, they are, they are, they are compounding the treason that was already initiated against us. And uh, in, in December of 2020, 16th of December 2020, all the, all the nationalities that have been discussing and agitating across these many years came together and pre presented a formal proposition to Nigeria. That is, the, Federa the Federation of Nigeria, as represented by the government of Nigeria, extending it to the, the, the states as uh, created by Nigeria. That is, all of them who are maintaining the infrastructure of governance against the peoples of the territory who have not agreed on the terms of union and the terms, the structure of that union and the terms of uh, that governance. That is what the constitution is supposed to be settling. They toppled the constitution that settled all of that at the time we federated and replaced it with a constitution, one constitution that uh, refuses to let anybody do anything for itself that seized everybody's assets and everybody's rights we now have to take items on the exclusive list of things we cannot touch we cannot we cannot even risk uh, uh, do anything about because the brigands are taking it over by forging our signature into a document we didn't make and so that discussion what what can be more discussion than the pronaco in which uh, we got all the nationalities to come to sit down and the international community saw what was going on and said, the U.S. sent us up a mission. The European Union sent us up a mission. And we went all the way. We sat in Lagos at plenary, sat in Port Harcourt at plenary, sat in Enugu at plenary separately, sat in Jos, sat in Kano, and came to conclude in Lagos. And if, if, if any, the only group, the only one that refused to turn up the only one that refused to join that discussion at that time was uh, Obasto Job and his government. They stayed away, saying that, uh, in fact, Obasto Job went to TV to say we're committing treason if we call the meeting of the owners of Nigeria to discuss their enterprise, Nigeria. But when he saw the kind of people that had gathered, if Ojuku is part of that gathering from the East, if Buhari was part of the Fulani delegation and Sayyid Abubakar, the one that is now Sultan in Sokoto, if they were all part of the Fulani delegation to that, uh, 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 convert, to that uh, conference, if Shoyinka would be a co-convener with all kinds of other, everybody you could, all the groups that were carrying arms against the Nigerian state at the time, we persuaded them. Niger Delta, uh, volunteer force of Asari, uh, Ghana Dams uh, and his OPC, who was Rika, his uh, master, we persuaded them to keep their guns aside and come to this meeting of the owners, uh, meeting of the peoples of Nigeria. Leave government. Our uh, quarrel is not with government. If, if, if government was the problem, it won't take three days to organize their, 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 their after. It won't, take, it won't take even one full day. It just requires a few people that will go and, 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 and sack them. It has happened so many times. The ones who staged all the coups that happened in Nigeria, did it solve the problem? No. So it's not the people in government house that's the problem. It is the constitution that uh, takes everything from everybody. So and how? So there is no uh, other way. We what? have we have placed that uh, yes. constitutional force majeure that was that proposition Great. since December of 2016. We followed it up. There were formal uh, uh, copies of it. It's still there. Yeah. If you go to Guardian newspaper of uh, January 20, 2021. Pages 38, 39, 40, and 41. Four okay. pages in Guardian is still there. Okay. That is the proposition. And we're following it up everywhere they gather. But they, 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 in arrogance, in stupid arrogance, I call it stupid because look at where the country has landed now. Whereas we have something we can activate in, in October of 2024. Make an announcement, the type that South Africa made. In, in 1990, that apartheid constitution had brought their society to its knees. The same way this unitary constitution has brought Nigeria to all of what we are crying about now. It's not the election that will solve that problem. 
and it's not uh, by, by, by hanging on our high horses and pretending that uh, everybody's happy with what we are doing. Look at what has become of the economy. Look at what has become of the security. And the, we say this constitution can only take us to a worse condition and it will blow up in our faces if we delay it any further. Because those who are talking in it are being organized to take their portions by, by whatever means they find to do so. So who is holding on to their portions? We'll have about uh, uh, four or three minutes to go. Who is holding on to that portion? And how do you think the ethnic nationalities will get what is theirs? We'll have just three minutes. That portion, that holding, that, holding their portion, holding their portion is that Nigeria that is defined by that constitution is like a, is like a, is a criminal enterprise. That is, it has, it has rejected everybody's land and taking all the economic assets and defining the ownerships and the sharing and all of how they will be managed in terms of governance and who will win and BPDP and APC that uh, INEC will declare. Those are the things they loaded into that constitution. And we're saying, we have, we have said to them, and when I say they, the ones who, who are governing Nigeria, the ones who swear to defend and uphold that constitution are the first set of uh, culprits in that matter. The ones who are doing political party under that constitution, BDP, APC, Labour Party, and all their candidates and supporters are the second layer. The church leaders that support them with PBC campaign, oh, let's go and vote, under a constitution that guarantees our damnation. They are all together in that criminality. And so we said all of, all of them who are sharing the blood of the people, because every month they go and... Uh, you know, share what they've gathered for. They're like a robbery gang that has to share uh, periodically. And so we say, can't we, can't we come to our senses now to see that this place will go up in smoke if we don't find answers for all of those who are saying no, all of those who are talking, all of those who are, who, who are now facing death from expropriation that has happened to them all these many years. We say it is possible for us to, since we all agree now, is arguing about the constitution being the problem. The only thing remaining now is how do we proceed from where we are? And Ninas has something in black and white that takes it from first step to finish line. Make that announcement and we only say, let us acknowledge that that is the problem. Let us commit, let the government of the day commit to solving the problem. Let us suspend the talk of another election so we can do it sooner than later. Let us then allow for, for the first time the owner, the nationalities, to come into a, a meeting to discuss all of how they will do it, first in their regional blocks to, to make out constitution by which they will federate. In the second layer, then come in to discuss with the others who have also made out their own constitution. And then make a time-bound announcement, the time that South Africa made in 1990. In, in one if and if, if those who are ruining our lives, endangering us in the manner we're endangered now, will listen, Ninas is there to guide them at no cost where Ninas is saying stay back in government house let us go and solve this problem the big problem that is coming ahead is that while the ones who are there are there now the ones who are saying oh they are not doing well we are going to replace them in 2027 we are going to rally those who are choking in unitary Nigeria in a, on a head on collision with the political parties that are planning to go to election in 2027 if we have one bullet left, we will not be aiming at those who are in government house. We'll be aiming at the criminals who want to come and continue that the lack of that concern by going to election. The populace don't know. All right. The, the people who die don't know. The I ones deceiving them are the political the politicians who are saying to them, "Come, uh, I will provide leadership." When the concern is the problem, All Peter right. says it is it is leadership that is the problem. When he knows that the concern is the problem. And I'm not saying it from uh, uh, sidelines. I'm saying it as somebody was engaging. And you hadn't said it in 2021 that the Nigeria is like a, a, a vehicle with a knocked engine. Where did he find the engine to load obedient movement people? Look at Utomi going about uh, preaching big tent and the, and the, and the uh, new tribe. They all know that the constitution is the problem. Uh, Shawore knows that the constitution is the problem. What, what, under which constitution are they all going to contest? By which constitution will they govern? if they manage to win. And how are they going to win this fellow who came from the flat to, to grab a mandate, the, the mandate that the people in their, in, their, in, their, in their refusal to listen went to vote under that constitution. They right. constitution swallow that mandate. And yet they cannot learn. So we say, 
The time right. has come for either they listen for us to go to a meeting or they get ready to, to, to contend with the, the head-on collision with the victims of Unitary Nigeria. All right. That's a good place to leave it. Tony Nadi is our guest tonight, and I have to thank you so much for your contributions here on the Eastern Eye. The Secretary General of Lower Niger Congress, LNC, and the co-convener of uh, the... Um, the Nigerian uh, indigenous peoples. That's of course, uh, we, th I mean, there's a lot to talk about. I think we'll have to fix another date to have a much more expanded discussion on this so that we'll know exactly how the indigenous nationalities can indeed engage and be of assistance and guide whoever wants to listen on what needs to be done. Thank you so much for your perspectives on the program tonight.